capital city of Berlin, at a Congress of the International Headache Society, a post hoc analysis looked at onobotulinum toxin in patients with chronic migraine. And we compared patients who had had first line prophylaxis compared to those who had not had first line prophylaxis. And in this post hoc analysis, onobotulinum toxin A worked just as well if you had had pr prior prophylaxis versus if you had not. Okay, so what is the message for clinicians who are treating patients with chronic migraine? Um, most clinicians always ask if patients have tried other prophylaxis, would, would on a botulinum toxin A work? And so the message is that yes, it worked even in patients who had not responded to previous prophylaxis. So what you're saying is if a clinician has a patient in front of them who's been previously treated, it could be just as effective to try a trial of on a botulinum toxin A. That's right. right. That's right. Um, you know, understandably, none of these uh, first line, second line, or third line drugs uh, that Bash has listed have been tried for chronic migraine. But you know, most clinicians do try episodic migraine pr prophylactic medications for their chronic migraine patients. So, you know, clinically, it's a very um, that's the protocol that they follow. They they try other preventive treatments, and so the message is that if you've tried other preventive treatments and they have not worked in these chronic migraine patients that on a botulinum toxin A works for treatment naive as well as those people who've been refractory to previous prophylactics. Okay now there was some criticism at this meeting in terms of uh, a significant placebo response and how much the on a botulinum toxin worked above that. Can you address that concern? Sure, absolutely. I think when you're looking at comparison trials, say we had one toxin versus the other or one drug versus the other, then the difference between the two treatment arms becomes clinically relevant or meaningful. But when you have placebo, and placebo is not commercially available, then that becomes sort of an irrelevant discussion in my mind. However, you could also look at it that we're pooling together responders versus non-responders. And when you do clinical trials, you have a sizable placebo effect no matter what trial you look at. This has been Damien McMahon reporting from Berlin.